Today I'm cooking meatball sandwiches and um, thought I'd bring you along. First things first. Oh, I put the oil in it earlier and then I put way too much and I forgot to wipe it out. So, and I actually used olive oil because I was gonna, I knew I was going to do this recipe. I'm gonna toast the bread first and I may even put it in the oven for a little bit. We'll see because I want the meat, uh, the cheese to melt really well. I'm gonna use two types of cheese. I'm gonna use mozzarella and provolone. And I'm actually gonna also add some pepperoni um, to it. So, and Maybe this is more of a meatball pizza, but I'm using pizza sauce. I'm not using spaghetti sauce. So, I'm using what I have. We'll see what happens. And I got these submarine sandwich rolls at Walmart. They're thin. Look how thin they are. Don't know that I can eat a whole one, but I'm going to go ahead and make a whole one. I feel like I'm working at Subway. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna butter these and also put a little bit of olive oil. I put olive oil in this garlic. I don't have very much garlic left. Mmm. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this on there also. But first, butter. Should have this sitting out. All right. I'm gonna do this different. Different. I'll go ahead and put some of this little drizzle. That'll be good. I'll heat up the pan and put the butter in the pan. Just like that. I am going to heat it up in the oven. I've decided because my, my meatballs are frozen, so I'm going to cook those and the sauce together, warm those up together, and then I'll put them on the buns and put them in the oven so they'll get nice and, the cheese will get nice and melted. But I wanted to toast it first. And I'm gonna use the frozen meatballs. pizza sauce. Heat that up. Oh, getting toasty. Getting toasty. Yeah, I'm going to cook them in the oven. Well, heat them up in the oven in the cast iron. I'm going to add just a little of the mozzarella. Rella, mozzarella. For the meatballs to sit down in. Really, just because. All right. Meatballs cooked, warmed up in the sauce. I cut them in half. Well, yeah, because they're kind of big. That one didn't get cut. Oh, 
well, I bet I can work around it. Woo. A little bit of sauce. There is a little bit of sauce. And then you know what's coming. This one is way, way big. There. That looks so good. Mmm. My mouth is watering. Going in. It's heavy. Let's see what they look like. Oh yeah, they're done. good crispy the bread is crispy cheesy yeah this is too big a bite we know huh yeah too big of a bite mm. they're good it could use some more sauce, I think. It's a little dry, but it's good. It's my first one, so I'm happy with it. If you ever had meatball subs, let me know in the comments below if you've had them, if you like them, if you don't like them. Tell me about your meatball sandwich experience. All right, I'm out of here, and I'm going to go eat. had problems with my camera obviously I've had problems with this whole entire video but anyway fill this is a one-third cup so fill it with the mixture and then put it I can probably put a little bit more in there and then can't do this one-handed and then That's how I like them, but oh well, it will do. And I'm gonna have to cook two batches because I only have six little muffin, six muffin tin. So I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 20 minutes. Um, I'll pull it out and I'm gonna add a mixture of ketchup and chipotle sauce on top and then put it back in the oven. I'm gonna add some ketchup. This I'm just eyeballing up and some chipotle sauce. The 
Adobo sauce that the chipotle peppers are in. Today we're having leftovers. So this is the leftover meatloaf, Tara's meatloaf, spaghetti sauce. I'm going to kind of do the same thing I did the other day with the uh, meatball sandwich. This is meatloaf sandwich, but I'm going to create it the same way I did. So with the provolone cheese, the mozzarella, and um, toasted on the loaves so this one will this video will be pretty short since we're hooked up to shore power i am going to put this in the microwave and i'm going to cut those well i guess i'll use all that <laughs> Meat, meatloaf <laughs> scramble. <laughs> Just cut it up or mashed it up like this so it warm up faster. Going in. Got a lot the oven. All right, guys, this is the last of the pizza sub sandwich or pizza, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm using the last of the bread. And this is going to be a margarita pizza. Um, fresh basil. Got use this on one of my other pizzas. I can meet the meatball one. I added some more olive oil to the garlic, and I'm using some Italian olive oil. And the rest of the mozzarella cheese and the last of the provolone sliced tomatoes and I don't have any pizza sauce anymore and I'm really not sure exactly I've watched several videos on the margarita pizza some just have olive oil some have a tom tomato base um, I've had this vodka sauce for a while in my pantry so I'm going to put a little bit of this down, uh, I think it's going to be really good, and combined with the olive oil, and go from there, and that will be the last of, <laughs> of my sub sandwiches, or pizzas, whatever you want to call them, but uh, let's see how this turns out. Okay, this is the last of our bread. Tend to work at Subway.
as you saw in my last two videos. It's that easy. Just plop it in. I'm going to put the olive oil on after it toasts and do it a little different this time. I'll do one. And a half. That's all we need. That's all we need. And some sliced tomatoes. Oop. Some nice thick Splotches, splotches, spots of the Tullam milk mozzarella. Since I don't have any fresh, and then some fine mozzarella and fresh basil. Oh my goodness. I'm going to put some on before I heat it up in the oven. Then I add a little bit of fresh when it comes out of the oven. Cook's mad. <laughs> That's what happens when you do two things at once. All right. Well, I got to fix this. I'm sure we could have that one sandwich, but what do you do? You take a knife, scrape it off. I'll come back and put these in the oven. You can tell. See how you do that? <laughs> All right. I think it's done. Oh yeah. It's done. It's done. Well, all the little basils went to the <laughs> center. I think I'm gonna put fresh basil. I'm not sure I'm liking that limpy stuff. So I might take that off and put fresh. I don't want limpy. Look at that. Limpy, wimpy basil. Okay, maybe I'll leave those three pieces on there and see. Let's put fresh, not cooked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get that stuff over there. It's kind of ouch. <laughs> I'm bound to determine to burn myself. Have y'all made margarita pizza before? What do you think? Does it look alright? You know what? I don't didn't get a lot of the garlic, so I'm actually gonna put a little garlic salt on mine and see how that and some pepper. Alright. Makes my mouth water. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Then taste the olive oil, which I like. Mm. So, if y'all make this, let me know. Because it's pretty good. I'll make this again. I like the tomatoes on it. Alright, I'm going to go eat.